Hello from Suffolk, England, where it's a bright morning and we're set for a warm if cloudy day with rain coming on overnight. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 8. It's Monday the 13th of July, in the year of our Lord 2020, and it's time to sit back and start your week right. This is Mark Sidwell, bringing you Mark's Almanac. Five minutes of civilised calm, recorded in the peace of the English countryside. I was pleased to see a hummingbird hawk moth in my front garden yesterday. Traditionally considered a lucky omen, the moths are a summer visitor from mainland Europe. The day of the Normandy landings, a great swarm was seen flying across the English Channel, heralding the beginning of the hard slog that would liberate Europe from Nazi tyranny. Here's a quote from The Mating Season by P.G. Woodhouse. The vicar's theme was the church organ, and it was in a vein of pessimism that he spoke of its prospects. The church organ, he told us frankly, was in a hell of a bad way. For years it had been going around with holes in its socks, doing the brother-can-you-spare-a-dime stuff, and now it was about due to hand in its dinner pail. There had been a time when he had hoped that the pulled-together spirit might have given it a shot in the arm, but the way it looked to him at the moment, things had gone too far and he was prepared to bet his shirt on the bally contrivance going down the drain and staying there. On this day in 1568, Alexander Noel, Dean of St Paul's and a keen fisherman in his spare time, found a bottle of ale he had lost several days before on the riverbank. It had undergone secondary fermentation in the bottle, and the cork flew off like a shot from a gun. His accidental discovery is said to have been the beginning of bottled beer. Also on this day in 1793, John Clare was born in Peterborough. The son of a farm labourer, Clare would become England's greatest poet of nature and the countryside. Here's a poem for anyone going through uncertain times just now. Try to praise the mutilated world by Adam Zagajewski. Try to praise the mutilated world. Remember June's long days and wild strawberries, drops of rosé wine. The nettles that methodically overgrow the abandoned homesteads of exiles. You must praise the mutilated world. You watched the stylish yachts and ships one of them had a long trip ahead of it, while salty oblivion awaited others. You've seen the refugees going nowhere. You've heard the executioners sing joyfully. You should praise the mutilated world. Remember the moments when we were together in a white room and the curtain fluttered. Return in thought to the concert where music flared. You gathered acorns in the park in autumn and leaves eddied over the earth's scars. Praise the mutilated world and the grey feather a thrush lost and the gentle light that strays and vanishes and returns. That's almost all for today. I'll be back next week. Don't forget you can sign up for emails with show notes and links when new episodes go live at marksalmanac.substack.com. And remember, that's Mark with a C. And if you need some music to wake you up for the week ahead, how about a song I've recommended once before? Frank Turner's Going Nowhere when you made your best plans, but somehow they just didn't work. I'll be there, in there like swimwear.
Until next week. Stay civilized, keep calm, and please, keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.